Hi guys, so in this next lesson, we are going to find the angle between a line and a plane. So think of a line coming straight down and going, I don't know, through a plane like this. It's this angle that we're trying to find here. It might necessarily be right here, but um, think of a, I like to think of a, get a piece of string um, coming down and touching, touching the table at an angle, that's the angle we're looking for. Or a, this example is a ray of light coming from a point, coming down and maybe hitting the ground. On GeoGebra, it looks something like this. So here's here's our plane. Now, if you zoom in, like when I, where I first had it here, it doesn't even touch the plane, but a line will always, and we talked about this when we got the intersecting point, but a line's always gonna touch a plane, it's always gonna intersect a plane, unless, um, unless they're parallel. So when they talk about when he asks for the angle between the line and the plane, he's looking at he's looking at this angle here. And, and of course, there's this angle too. So there's an acute angle and an obtuse angle. So just be careful what's um, what's he asking for. Okay, so let's do an example. Well, actually, before I do the example, let me show you how we do it. So how am I supposed to get the the angle between a line and a plane if I like I have the plane but I don't have I don't have a vector here I don't have this vector I don't have any vector on the line but hopefully you've started to see now that when it when it comes to planes the most important the most important part of the plane or part of the equation of the plane is the normal because the normal kind of gives us it's actually perpendicular to the direction but it's it's our way of kind of looking at directions because it's very easy to it's very easy to see when it's in this form so the normal is the normal comes straight out of the plane like this it goes straight up now you have to imagine this is 3d this is a table and the normal is coming straight out of the table this let's call n for normal well the angle between the angle between the line and the plane, let's call theta. Now again, as I say, I don't know what this, I don't have a vector on the plane, so I just don't know what this vector is. I can't use it to find the um, this angle. But I can find this angle, and we often call this theta and this angle phi. So if this angle's phi, I can find phi because phi is the angle between the normal and the line, and I know how to find the the angle between uh, a vector and a line. I just use the direction vector of the line. So I can find phi. And then theta, once I have phi, I can just get theta because theta is just, I don't know if we're, you, often we use degrees for, for vectors, but so theta would just be 90 degrees minus phi. That's obvious because this is a right angle. And then I'm left with 90. So if this is if, if I have 5, if this is 30, then this is obviously 60. And that's it. So to get the angle between a line and a plane, we get the angle between the normal and the line, and then subtract that from 90 degrees. If you end up getting phi and you end up getting an obtuse angle, make sure you're using the acute angle because of this diagram that I've just drawn. Okay, let's do this example. A ray of light coming from the point, this is traveling in the direction of this. So our line, our line, let's call it L, is or equals point or position vector, negative one, three, two. Hang on, something wrong with my pen. So the, the light, the position vector is negative one, three, two, and the direction vector it gives us here is four, negative one, so let me write that again. Negative 1, 3, 2, plus direction vector t times 4, 1, negative 2. And then the, um, the plane is given as this. Now, as I always say, when you can, with vectors, draw a diagram. So let's say, and again, it doesn't have to be flat. Let's say this is the plane. This is pi, and remember you're kind of looking at you're looking at it from the side. So this is the plane pi, and this is my straight line. Uh, my straight line coming like this. You can draw it in any any way you want. This is my line L, and then the normal. The normal comes straight out, straight out of the plane, 
like this normal. Now my normal, so the normal n is equal to uh, 1, 3, 2. So hopefully guys you can see that now. If you've got the vector, if you've got the equation of a plane, the normal is just 1, 3, 2. It's the a, b, c in the a, x plus b, y plus c, z equation. Um, so this is my normal. So this angle here, this is a right angle, this is phi, and this is theta. That's phi. So co the cos, cosine of phi is equal to this dot this. So it's the direction vector for 1, negative 2, dot 1, 3, 2. So the direction, the, the direction vector, or the normal, the direction vector dot the normal divided by because this is the this is just the the cosine angle formula divided by the magnitude the magnitude of the direction vector which is four squared plus one squared plus two squared times the magnitude of one squared plus three squared plus two squared and this equals, let's do it here, this dot this is um, 4, 4 plus 3 minus 4 is 3. So it's 3, 3 over the square root of, hang on, I don't need that much, 16, 17, 21, 21, the square root of 9, 10, 14, this is cos of theta, no sorry, this is cos of phi, be careful. So then phi is equal to phi, draw a proper phi, phi is equal to the inverse cos, so I need to do this menu, I'm oh, sorry, trig, let me get out of that, trig, inverse cos, and I'm going to put this in just like I see it. So I have this, I have 3 over the square root of 21 multiplied by the square root of 14. Press enter and I get 79.9235. 79.9235. That's phi. Therefore, theta equals 90 minus 79.9235 which equals, I'm just going to go minus 90, forgive me for this guys, but I think I'm okay to do that. It's obviously positive, so 10.0765, 10.0765 degrees. That is the angle, that is the acute angle between the line and the plane. The obtuse angle would obviously be 180 minus 10.0765 degrees. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Um, definitely, 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 this is one of those situations where you're you're much better off having a good understanding about what's going on than just learning the rule. If you can, if you can uh, replicate this diagram in an exam, it'll really set your mind at ease because and it, you can show the examiner that you know exactly what you're doing. Okay. Hope you understood everything in that lesson. If not, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.